for watching the stream today. Regardless, though, it is a best of three to kick off the Ting Open. And our first little shout-out, of course, goes to this little link here. If you guys are in the United States, please do check out baytv.ting.com. It lets them know you came from the channel. And in the top right, we've got the purple Protoss player, Gung Fu Banda. In the bottom left, as the orange Terran, it's BC Cutie. All right, so real quick fun fact about today, before we get into the cast, Zombie Grub and okay. I are standing buddies! Yay! Oh my god, that's what I always wanted in life. Yeah, she recently got her standing desk set up too, which is awesome. Uh, I'm curious, though, how, how easy is yours to like sit up versus stand down? Like, Is it like a press of a button um, thing? or? No, you have to like grasp handles, push them in, and then like lift or push down. Um, it's it's pretty easy and it doesn't make as much noise as it did in the first time. Like it, it's spring loaded, so the first time I did it, it literally like pushed me up. <laughs> and like, I, wow. like, I was like, God, please don't be like this the entire time. But it's not. The only disappointing thing is that um, it is about as wide as my desk. Like I measured my desk and made sure that it would fit, but it is like the exact same uh, length. So my mic stand, as you guys heard le yesterday, it if I don't move it prior to pushing my desk back down, it'll like break the mic stand and like have it fall over oh dear yeah so i have to be very careful when i put a shit back down let's hope that doesn't end up being the case then <laughs> now uh this is gonna be a pvt uh we've cast quite a few games since the patch but it's funny to me because we do have a lot of people who keep coming in and not realizing that the patch has set in fully so just the quick little note that well a couple of things change in the matchup the biggest one being the adept and even further than that in the uh <laughs> Korean qualifiers, we joked about this a bit, but we learned recently the adept change didn't just affect marines and SCVs, it also affected hellions. And it's worth yeah. noting that over there, we watched a single hellion knock out one of the greatest Protoss players of the Korean ladder. Yes, that is true. Um, whatever reason, like, okay, one Korean Terran player, like, does two, you know, one base, and you're like, okay, whatever, you know. But three Terrans do it, all back to back, and it's just like, and it works, too, like, really, really well. And it's almost like, man, everyone else, why aren't you doing this? I certainly, we have, like, Terrans throw in one, one base build every now and then, but, like, Ryong, Gumiho, they were all about it. They were just like, they didn't care if they were scouted, they just did it anyways. Yeah. Uh, Reaper, by the way, gets a kill, which was kind of cool to see. He scattered a lot of probes. Not a lot really going on in the early game, but the fact that he kept this thing alive instead of dying right away is always good. Because Reapers die pretty damn easy to Protoss. Uh, yes, they get... do. I like the second scout. He's going to suicide it in. I think he knows he's suiciding it in, too, but he really wanted to confirm what was coming out. And he saw yeah. the Twilight Council spinning. And if this is like Ruins of Ceres, I think you guess Blink. But the fact that this yeah. is an orbital shipyard, you're pretty positive it's going to be resonating glaives. The, mm -hmm. I think, surprising lack of a scout for Beastie was not seeing, like, a robo down, though. Yeah, that's a little surprising. Um, you know, seeing the adepts definitely tells you adepts. Uh, the lack of a mothership core really makes this a lot more committed than, it, you know, it, it could have been. Like, there could have been a, a later adept attack. But uh, without that robo, it's going to be very interesting to see how Gung Fu is planning on getting past the wall. Um, I mean, he is getting enough gateways going up to five Ooh. more. Oh, yep. there we okay. Go. Uh, five more will give him a total of six. Um, busting the front wall has just usually not been the Adept's strongest suit. Like, you'd have the pylon rush to do that, and then the Adept would rush in, but that's, that's what Kung Fu's going to try. He's going to see this with the medevac, and I wonder if he ends up unloading the wooden mines here to catch the warpins, or if he's just still going to go across uh, the map. I, well, it's actually a really tough decision. Like, I guess he has three choices. Like, killing the warpins would be not such a bad idea, but... And they might just warp away from the wooden mines to figure out where they are. Um, but coming back home to get the wooden mines offensively or going all offensively is always a tough decision. And offensively usually helps more. But that's like, it's still really tough. Like, oh, if only I have my wooden mines back at home, maybe it's going on different. Mm. Definitely forgot that uh, I was trying to find a different donation. I says Borsi had a good one using the adjutant from StarCraft 1. Or a good suggestion. Ah, really. yeah. Uh, so the adepts are starting to break this wall, but the liberator comes out, the bunker's down. I don't think this would be too hard to manage. And while this goes on, the wood mines do unload, and Gung Fu Banda is definitely not paying attention back at home. So, boom! Seven kills on one. The uh, other wood mine, oh. of course, gotta be a little bit careful because of that overcharge. But, oh, oh no! Oh, Jesus. oh, it's going for the mothership oh. core. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that could have oh, been geez. so bad. Oh, BC Cutie. Oh my god, he was target firing. <laughs> 
Yes, that could have okay. that could have gotten so. I mean, let's not blame him for not target firing, but that could have been devastating. I'd yeah. still say the amount of probes the first one got was damn nice though, and it's about off cooldown. I don't think Gung Fu Band has realized this yet, so now the two probes gonna go down. Pulls yeah. off with the natural base. I mean, he has no detection because of his build. This build that he went for is like the the least detection possible. Yeah, it's it's very. Like, okay, he didn't know that BCQ was going to go for a wood on mine drop. He didn't get, like, that long of a scout himself. But uh, if this, if like, if this had been Blink, as we saw, like, the Twilight Council, like, what's odd is that I actually would have done pretty okay had he been able to get high ground vision somehow. So probably having to bring a Mothership Core over. That would have been okay, because wood on mine drops usually give you a lot less production. But the mere fact that a wall stopped Gung Fu's attack tells me that, I don't know, this attack either hopes to get someone really off guard, so like not mm. even like bothering repair or something like that, or it's it's kind of like a like a fake. Like he got so many gateways, but he also got a third base. So his probe count was supposed to be good before the Widow Mines destroyed it. Um, mm. <laughs> and then he would probably like accelerate, I guess, based off of uh, gateway tech beyond that. But the Widow Mine drop has certainly screwed up his plans. All right. Uh, by the way, that was a donation from Riamar You guys heard uh, a few moments ago. Oops. I guess this guy went off again. Um, <laughs> sorry, thank you very much, Riamar, doing seven dollars seventy-seven cents. He says, "Nerf Terran, please." Mm. Okay. We'll see, we'll see how we'll see how Beastie does today before we decide to nerf Terran. Right. All right. So this is a little obnoxious because Beastie Cutie did have two liberators uh, up here, so they take quite a few units down with them. Which yeah. Is nice. The problem is though, for Gung Fu, <laughs> even losing a couple units is pretty bad in this situation. We got a pretty big push coming across the middle of the map, and frankly, while this doesn't have like a plus one advantage or marauders even, just the sheer number of marines would take a really good fight, I feel. Yeah. I would really like want to see this game without those Winamine drops and see what Gung Fu's plan plan was. <laughs> Gung Fu Planda. Yeah, um, Gung Fu Planda. <laughs> Uh, without uh, with you not being able to break him on two base seven gateways, but you know who oh well, wouldn't? it's actually gonna turn to a base trade. Beastie would okay. not want to see that game because he's in a pretty good spot. Despite the fact that this is a base trade, let's not forget Terran can be a bit shitty and just float to the side of the map right now. And uh, with no probes outside the base for Gung Fu, I guess there was that building down here. But for the most part, this is everything. Uh, Beastie is gonna start floating away, not to the corners of the map, of course, just to another base to try and I guess mine from. Uh, the pilot goes down pretty quick. The tank lives, which is a pretty big deal. Mother of course, is going to come and try and snipe it, maybe, but that's too many Marines! Yeah. These tanks are made! <laughs> I mean, it would, it would have been worth killing one tank from a Mother Ship Core. Uh, even get some of these medevacs out, so it's actually really nice. The SVs are going to flee successfully by the looks of it. A couple of Widow Mines going to land themselves in the base and catch a couple of Protoss Should. units on the way out. Yeah. I mean, this is going to turn into a situation where it is going to be army versus army. So, yeah, that militia core dying probably, I mean, ah, it probably wasn't going to help much anyways. You know, just before everything died, BC managed to squeeze in plus one as well. He's going to have that weapon oh. advantage, which will be really nice. Yeah. Did he squeeze out that liberator? I think it probably got canceled because it left the starport. Yeah. Uh, yeah a medevac was, like, the last thing to sneak out of the base. Is the engineering bay really going to get to finish, though? He's going to be on 1-1. One -one. Got to be managed to catch all the flying buildings. Oh, no. <laughs> He leaves the engineering bay alive, Good luck. and now BC's gonna have a really um, nice army fight. Yeah, BC Cutie is also the one that's gonna have a better time it's with actually like <laughs> base racing, even without even without the multitude of racks going every which way. Just the uh, oh. you know, the drop capability of uh, Terrans. I was gonna advantage here. Gung Fu did manage to sneak out some probes. I just want to throw that out there. That? Three probes inside this warp person. <laughs> but there's like, uh, I mean, I guess they're. He can take on the army. It's going to be very, very positional. Um, uh, no, he can't. There's going to, there's going to be SCVs in this. Like he, he's not just going to go point. to mining. He's that going to pull the boys. That is a good point. But it's it's still very positional. Like You catch the medevacs off guard Like in this middle plateau here. They always you know go over it. And the Blink Stalkers are there right now, for instance. Or <laughs> like they, they're not sieged up. And that does take a, a lot of splash away from the fight. But they're both segmenting their army out, trying to catch all the buildings and all the probes and whatnot. So... They're not really oh. going to want to take a fight. BC doesn't even have to take a fight now. <laughs> uh, he can just make another base. Exactly. He can actually, he's got the money to build depots if he wants. But I think he knows he can take the fight. That's why he's going to do it. Uh, hold on. Shoutouts to Jesse, by the way, from Ting joining us in chat this morning. Good morning hey. to you, sir. Uh, this army is going to find the last couple buildings over here. I mean, a nexus was plopped down. Sure. But for BC's sake, again, you're right. He could build a whole entire base. As long as he doesn't give away every single <laughs> SCV. Because uh, yeah, he does need well. to build supply depots. He could also just sack on top of the Nexus if he knows it's the last building. Yeah, GG. There you go. Wait, did Gunfu <laughs> cancel that? 
Yeah, I probably thought he had another building. <laughs> oh, no. So that's a little awkward. <laughs> that is quite incredibly awkward. Oh, dear. Uh, new sub at the end of the game there, too. Bella Baloo. Bella Bella Baloo. Thank you very much for having a fun name to say. And welcome to the Base Trade TV family. Oh. But yeah, so if 